you want to do like what you're doing with the the stability mat. Yes. This is the same, but in the knees with 360 on the stability. So now we're channeling from the knee base, your mm -hmm. shin into your hips, and now we got this adjustment, which is this adjustment, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you ready? So first move, hips, knees, toes in alignment. Bare hands, roll the ball to uh -huh. your knees. This is key, because if you don't roll it to your knees, um, you have a gap, and then that's gonna scare you, and you have the balls of your knees in it. So you place it, place the weight on your hands, shift. Oh. Now you're on. Now you center the line, yes. the spine, and now you're using the surface area of the shin. Mm -hmm. Now you can work these degree lines. Mm -hmm. Now you can take a stick and work this yes. stuff. And vice versa, you could use the wall or an outside thing to start working all that hip and realignment of seeing basically when and how you have yourself on the one leg. So when this is mastered, wherever your leg is, you can stop it in motion because you're able to realign your weight on your leg. And that then gives you full control when the leg is up because you have control stability and you can then place this wherever you want to. So I can move myself differently in the adjustment because of that subtlety and the realignment to allow. So when you're talking about like rush and kick fight, this is that shit right here. So <clears throat> the ball, that's one, sit, two, knee. Then you would go to the place of what we call around the world where you have a goal. This is gonna be you, young lady. This is your goal, all right? First one, sit. Mm -hmm. Don't touch. How do you get to your knees? Wow. Now we're at our knees. Now you show somebody you can control this. Now you show them, well, I'm not just a, a human. I'm a, I'm a bear in the woods here. And so now you go to one knee and you control this. You show the other knee. You control this. You show that you have that foundation. And now, because you have that in alignment, what can we do? Well, then we can control ourselves. And now, if you can do this, if I can control myself in a 100% unstable environment, well, then walking on the ground is a little easier, right? So, yeah. the, the context of what you're doing is amazing at the micro and the outside angle. From the center, if we start here, yes. the confidence goes through the roof and then the micro. So when um, I started to learn this, was in physical therapy. Because when the person can't move, yes. you lay them on it and you're starting to move it. Yeah. Right? And that same context goes, what level could an able-bodied person should be able to do, right? Yes. And that's what this is. But just try to sit on it and just bring your feet up. So, my, uh, the scientist that I'm studying from, I mean, we're talking about here, here's yeah. the pro -eta. So he goes, people that cannot stand. Yeah, yeah. He closed their eyes and they go like this. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then this and then that. So it's a, it, absolute, absolute progression. So right here, just scoot your butt back till your heels are touching. No, no, just your heel, just your heel. Like, like this, but just the heel. Hold No, no, just right to touch. Oh, okay. And then let your foot be down, like that. Now let your butt go back. And counterbalance with your chest going forward, but both heels to touch the ball because you're kind of like grabbing it in the force. Mm -hmm. There. Now let your hip butt go back. I got you. No, no, no. Just push your butt back. Let your butt go back. So like, like, like you're leaning back there. See? Mm -hmm. Now you'll find your center. Mm -hmm. You see it now? Yes. It's, it's, it's right inside yourself. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. So you would do five second holds to tens to twenties and then go to a minute. And what's really happening here is the, 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 the neurological control in the house. The neurological control to control the muscles will usually be able to force it a five second, a ten second. You'll walk up and it'll teeter over. But you never know. The red box. The red box. To, to master the one minute breathing will have to be mastered because what's yeah. happening? Yeah, what's happening here is I want you to think of your body is like a fish tank. 
And if you were carrying a fish in the water, right, mm -hmm. and you start overdoing it, it just takes you. So the fluid and inside you is doing that. Your job through the air redistribution mm -hmm. and softness of not <gasps> is what keeps the interior balanced. And it changes everything. So this one little thing, uh, I've used it for the past 15 years. And anyone yeah, is... over the age of 30, this does huge in yes. your, oh, yeah. your reconnection of your body to your brain versus your brain overriding your body. This is the head heaviness of the West. So it goes back to like school as a kid. Mm -hmm. You just have to do it. Yes. There is no thinking. Yes. Mm. Well, uh, wow. It was eventful. Absolutely. You're the man.